if someone had cystic fibrosis, there are probably three ways to look at it. Lung, GI combined. Lung, no GI. GI, no lung. Uh, is that correct? More or less. More uh, or less. Cystic, cystic fibrosis is, uh, is something that really affects uh, numerous portions of the body, um, uh, including the endocrine system uh, and reproductive system as well. I mean, the GI, you can get what's missing, and the kid can eat and digest food. Yes. Now we're getting to the lung. Yes. If a kid has cystic fibrosis, it's probably it's prone to get pneumonia and things like that. If we're going to keep this kid living, what would you do or what you recommend you do if a kid has major lung uh, presentation with cystic fibrosis? Uh, antibiotic therapy has really come uh, a long way uh, and uh, uh, good therapy uh, against uh, infections that are typical for uh, uh, cystic fibrosis, particularly in the lungs, uh, has really made a dramatic difference in the overall survival. But isn't it survival. also preventative antibiotic therapy? They do it in pulses or something? Uh, they do. The, there are several different modes of therapy uh, for cystic fibrosis. For a more severe pulmonary exacerbation, oftentimes children need IV antibiotics. Uh, there are prophylactic types of medications, which are inhaled medications, uh, that, uh, uh, that uh, children are asked to use uh, on a, uh, a monthly basis. Um, one month taking the medication and one month off of the medication that can help to uh, suppress the growth of bacteria. What happens to the lung in a very general sense? What happens to the lung? Uh, the mucus uh, secretions uh, in the lungs are very, very thick and very, very difficult to uh, express and they tend to harbor a lot of bacteria as well. Uh, so uh, in addition to antibiotic therapy, there are therapies that can help uh, the uh, mucus to be better expressed uh, to keep them out of the airways. Um, but uh, the, the, there are some medications, one of them is called Dornase Alpha. Uh, which helps to thin the secretions and, and, and helps to... Uh, That's given uh, by what method? Uh, nebulizer. And is it readily available and is it also very expensive? It's very expensive, um, but it's something that uh, uh, most people with cystic fibrosis uh, are on chronically. Uh, and it's the kind of medica it's, it's, it's a medication that's used very, very frequently uh, in cystic fibrosis. There are several other therapies. Uh, these days a lot of children are on hypertonic saline, for example, uh, by nebulizer as well to help them uh, to draw more water into the airway and help the, uh, the mucus to be expressed uh, a little bit easier. Uh, again, antibiotic therapy, both prophylactic and treatment doses, are very important uh, in the long-term maintenance of cystic fibrosis. With the kid with lung presentation, life expectancy is decreased, but we've got them to live a lot longer than it was, say, 30 years ago. Is that true? Yes, absolutely. Um, uh, these days, the uh, average uh, age of survival is close to 40. And we think we can get that up another 10 or 15 years down the road. Yes, that's, that's what, uh, that's what uh, we anticipate. Is there any way we could fix the genetics? Is there any research in that area right now? There are. Um, the, um, uh, for the past 20, 30 years, uh, a lot of people have been working on um, uh, genetic uh, cures, so to speak, for, for cystic fibrosis. Um, uh, a lot of groups have been working on them. Uh, and uh, there, are, there are a couple of, of uh, uh, very promising treatments uh, to help uh, increase the expression of the protein where it's supposed to be expressed uh, or to, to uh, help augment its, its function. So down the road there could potentially, I don't, I don't want to use the word cure, mm -hmm. but a very good control of the situation that we get life expectancies to pretty to normal if these things do work. Is that true? That's what we're hoping, yes. That's our goal, is that yes, correct? that's our goal and that's what we're hoping.